very sexy. You know, you can't go wrong with this one. Oh, it is super alluring. Like this one will suck you in. <laughs> Give it a try. Let me hear your first impressions because you might like it. In this video, I'm going to share with you my top 10 fragrances for men for summer, and this will be the niche edition. So I picked out some fabulous fragrances, which I am like kind of over the moon about. And if you want to hear what they are, make sure you keep watching. Tiff Benson here. Welcome back to my channel. I am super pumped to share this list with you. I am a niche fragrance lover. I prefer it over designer. And I picked out some very special scents for you guys out there. And I know that you will love them. Before we jump into the video, if this is your first time here, and I know some of you are, don't play. Make sure that you subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you can be notified notified every time that I post here on YouTube. Also big shout out to Euro Perfumes. I stopped by their showroom and I picked out 10 gorgeous, 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 gorgeous scents for men for summer. I know you're going to enjoy them. Let's just jump right into the video because it's bomb. Leave a comment right now and let me know what's your scent of the day. I haven't decided what my scent of the day will be, but for some reason, I feel like it might be this one. It is the Thomas Kosmala number four. Adore it, adore it, adore it, adore it. Just saying, not for nothing, I might switch it up with my first fragrance um, that I'll be introducing for this list this will not be a countdown just want to throw that out there too because as i was like trying to count them down i'm like but i really like this one no 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 but i really really like this one trust and believe no countdown all of these scents are really really amazing they're tens in my opinion so yeah let's just jump right in so the first fragrance that i will be mentioning today is this gem of a fragrance oh it is so good it is so good possibly number one Possibly. It is Ceci n'est pas un flacon bleu, which means this is not a blue bottle. <laughs> it's by Histoire de Parfum. I guess I'll spray it on. This will be my scent of the day. It's what it is. If I had to describe this fragrance, I'd say it's very polished and super masculine, which is odd because I'm spraying it on myself, right? But the dry down, very unisex. Oh, oh my gosh. Also something that I really like about this scent and why I'm recommending it for summer is that it has a metallic-y sort of note. I'm not sure if it's the aldehydes, oof, and the top notes, or maybe it's like that orange zest. I know it also has patchouli. It also has amber and musk. It's just a really gorgeous scent. I mean, very full and beautiful and I love it. I think it's perfect for summer, possibly even all year round. Up next, we have a beautiful fragrance from the House of Mancera. It is called Cedra Boisi. This fragrance is super talked about in the fragrance community. It has similarities to Creed's Aventus. I do see the similarities. Do I think it's a total dupe? Absolutely not. If I had to describe it, I'd say it's very sexy. You know, you can't go wrong with this one. Oh, super sexy. To me, it smells like pencil shavings and pineapple. And because I just sprayed by scent of the day all over the place, now I have limited room to spray, but I will spray it for video's sake because it is gorgeous. Lemon, bergamot, and um, black currant in the top notes. One thing that I have to say about the House of Mancera is that they do fruity scents really, really well. Like, really well, like impressively well. So if you like fruity sort of fragrances, check out the House of Mancera. Also, I highly recommend this one for summer because it is a compliment getting scent with a lot of power, longevity, versatility, you're gonna get a lot of wear out of it and you're also gonna have a lot of fun with it. Juicy scent, worthy of being in your fragrance collection. Up next, we have a fragrance house that just always makes me smile. I don't know, it's something about Italie de d'Orange that just puts a smile on my face, what can I say? 
their fragrances are always really playful, really fun, really energetic and creative. And I adore that about this house and also about this scent, which is called You or Someone Like You. Nice bottle, right? So this fragrance has mint in it. A lot of times people ask me, what's a beautiful mint scent worth wearing for the summer? This is definitely one of them. Has notes of mint, anise, grapefruit. Dry down is all white musk. It's just really easy to wear, fresh and light, playful. It's a lot of fun and it smells clean, clean mint. It's just gorgeous. I love this one a lot. This was my scent of the day yesterday and I enjoyed wearing it, just saying. Up next, we have the one and only, right? I mean, you, you knew this had to make the countdown. Elysium by Roja Parfum. Elysium is stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Now, Elysium also comes in the blue bottle, right? But this version is the Parfum version. I'm recommending this for summer. Um, just because, just because, <laughs> right? Why not? Just because. <laughs> blue bottle is great too. Actually, I'm all through my blue bottle. I think I have like a pinch, like a hair left to that fragrance. If I had to define this scent in one word, I'd say it is simply exquisite. This scent is gorgeous just suit and tie oh my god it could even work for casual moments but you got to be that guy if you're not that guy don't even reach for this you know what i'm saying like this is very particular it's an uber fresh scent with beautiful notes of lemon bergamot grapefruit dry down is cedar wood heavy vanilla heavy there's also a little bit of benzoin and leather in this scent i just adore it i do i really really do you know roja makes great sense and this is certainly one of them elysium oh gorgeous packaging too right up next we have percy ball from the house of parfum de marley look at that so beautiful bottle is fantastic if i had to describe this i would say it is super fresh this is one of those fresh scents that if you like fresh but like you're like okay how come my scents don't last why don't they stay as bright and citrusy as I would like them to? You will not have a problem with this scent. This one stays fresh for a super long time and it's also crazy aromatic, like crazy. It has beautiful top notes of mandarin and bergamot and in the base note it has, I believe, nutmeg, which kind of makes it special because it gives it like a little bit of a spicy edge. Also, it has amber and white musk. You can get a ton of wear out of this fragrance, grabbing go-worthy, date night, office, you know, elegant affairs, super versatile, probably one of the most versatile scents here on this list. Throwing this out there, if you're more of a fan of a designer scent, this kind of gives you fresh designer, but more doesn't smell so far niche that it's like unwearable, which is a good thing. Perfect for summer too, and that's why it is on this list. So many men slide in my DM and ask me about this scent. Two days ago, this was my scent of the day. Hello, I was wearing it all day. Reflection Man is stunning. For fragrance, it smells similar to Le Mans by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Similar, but not quite. To me, this smells like Moroccan oil, like Moroccan hair oil that, you know, people use in their hair. And I adore it. For that, it just feels super like luxurious and feels very Eastern and just exotic. And I think it smells amazing in the hot weather. This is one of those fragrances that I would say does not come to play. If we get into the notes, it has one of my favorite notes of all time, which is rosemary. I love rosemary oil. I put it in my hair every single day. It has patchouli, sandalwood, orange leaves, neroli. Oh my God. I get mostly orange, patchouli, 
oh my god pepper it's so good so 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 good slightly powdery true masterpiece even in my opinion i love the way this smells highly recommending it something new um new for me something that i just discovered but i really really enjoy it even for women as well if you're looking for something a little bit more unisex or not overly masculine try this give it a try let me hear your first impressions because you might like it it is called fig man by Carner. i was wearing this a couple of days ago as my scent of the day and i have to say it's very it is very fig heavy but it almost smells shampoo like like fresh out of the shower shampoo like sort of scent if i had to describe this in one word i would say just calm like it's super chill it's like that guy who doesn't have to do too much that guy that doesn't have to like you know move a mountain to be popping you know what i'm saying like this is just a real chill flow scent it's also very fruity which i also like about this scent and why i think it's perfect for summer this one has notes of bergamot big um to me it kind of smells very marine like like there's some salty oceanic notes in there oh god it's just so good it also has like a little bit of like a floral component to it which oh my gosh somehow it just works like if you look at the note breakdown you would not think that these notes would make sense but it kind of does and i really really enjoy it especially for summer remember women can wear this one as well even though it says in big bold letters big man it's totally unisex believe me up next is a fragrance that i have to be honest i this is new for me and new to me but i did slightly fall in love and i don't fall in love easily <laughs> it's called juice box and the name of it is called feel and chill has beautiful notes of bergamot cardamom musk betty bill amber very airy this fragrance it's like super chill like feeling chill yeah maybe that's why they named it let's see if where i have room to spray spray my elbow elbow flow oh gosh this is a this fragrance also has fig in it too fig is a beautiful note that i think is absolutely worth wearing for summer if not for any other season casual days casual moments maybe even wear this in the office definitely a weekender fragrance maybe even like a chill flow night out this is not like the serious club goer night out fragrance like chill flow night out just hanging out i love it i think it's really really good for summer and um and this could be a beautiful new addition to your fragrance collection the juice inside really really good okay so up next we have mancera something else from mancera which i enjoy i totally love mancera they're probably one of my favorite houses because a the price point b um the amazing scents that they have um and they just do fragrance with longevity and projection really really well and i love that from mancera i think they have like a culmination of many good things that just makes people really actually love this house so if you haven't tried anything from the house of mancera what are you waiting for go discover and explore this house anyway now that i'm off my soapbox let me tell you what's next food Lemon mint oud, wearable oud for summer, right? I mean, wearing ouds are hard enough. So let's make it super easy for you. Let's put a little bit of mint in there. Let's put a little bit of lemon in there. And let's put some oud in there that is super wearable, but still smells exotic and um, expensive, might I add. Ugh. 
I mean, wow. 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 I mean, seriously. Oh, so gorgeous. So, so gorgeous. Let's talk about the notes. If I had to describe this scent, I would say it is super alluring. Like this one will suck you in. <laughs> so what I like about this scent is um, it has a really gorgeous almond note. And traditionally almond is like used in soaps and like bath gels. And I think it's a beautiful note to add to fragrance to kind of make it, to give it like that clean sort of vibe with other complementary notes of lemon and mint, which also read very clean. It kind of just freshens up that oud note and makes it so wearable and clean and fun and not so serious of an oud to wear. I think it's a fabulous choice for summer, spring, God damn, maybe even winter and fall. It's really, really good. It's woody, it's a powerful scent. This will go the extra mile. Spray it lightly as I spray it twice. Let's just give this one a moment for the leathery vanilla amber dry down. I mean, this is also like a very full fragrance as well. You know, there's a lot going on here. It's a lot to smell. There are a lot of notes that you can identify identifiable notes and I don't know I think this is a must try you have to try it on the skin let me know what you think I will be looking out in the comments up next we have another beautiful fragrance that has mint in it all my all my picks are mostly mint heavy I'm sorry not sorry it is eight and bobs cop on teeb so gorgeous oh my god i mean this is like pure class in the bottle big fan of the house of a and bob they do fragrances really well classy sophisticated subtle cool just just very just very refined pure elegance very lush their fragrances are bomb Bomb, bomb, bomb. Cap Teep is inspired by a beautiful place in France. So just to give you an idea, it's like Monaco, Monaco, Nice, Cap Teep, and Cannes, something like that. If we look at it on the map, it's all the south of France, you know, where, where people go to live their best lives and luxuriate and they don't have a care in the world except for how they're just gonna spend their money. I think this is such a beautiful scent. It's super polished, oh, very refined, just like, I mean, wow. You can't, oh. did you check that out, the sprayer? Oh. You just cannot go wrong with it. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful scent to have and add to your collection. Super gorgeous, quite masculine, as Eight and Bob makes, um, you know, very masculine, rich scents. Totally recommending it for summer, and I think you'll enjoy this one as well. So those were my 10 picks for summer 2019 for men, the niche edition. Please let me know what you've been wearing. Leave a comment. Let me know what fragrances you've been wearing for this summer. I'm super curious and bonus points if they're niche. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget, follow me on Instagram. That's where I am when I'm not hanging out here on YouTube. My handle is at Tiff Benson. And also make sure you follow my baby account at The Fragrance Society. That's where I post all my scents of the days and share all my fragrance related news. And I have a 10K goal set for that account. So make sure you do follow that account and uh, yeah, slide in my DMs. Thank you so much to Euro Perfumes for letting me come in and curate this beautiful collection of fragrances. I will leave a link to their website in the description. Again, thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to watch what's next. Subscribe if you haven't done so already and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.